I want to talk about American Psychological Association Style Guide Manual. There's the cheat sheet in Moodle, but I also want to let you know that if you simply Google APA, that stands for American Psychological Association, and OWL, you are going to find the best online source about APA style citation. It is put, it is out there by Purdue University, and I think their mascot is an owl, which is why it's there, but it's an excellent way to be able to, excellent way to be able to see all the rules and guidelines. Now, APA citation is what is used in social sciences. So you'll find this is a style used when talking about many of the communication articles, uh, communication research. So you need to know about this. And it's different than MLA, which is the Modern Language Association, because you will have to use this in the future in classes in communication. So it's a little different than MLA, although it has some similarities. So this will tell you how do you make a bibliography, uh, which is probably the most important thing for an annotated bibliography, is that you know what the bibliography looks like. And if you go to the APA OWL, they'll give you lots of overall information, but reference list is probably the most important part. So this is how you make your reference list or your bibliography. Now, if you've learned MLA, you have learned that a bibliography will start with the last name of an author, and then a comma, and then a first name. It's different in APA. So like this right here, this is the basic rules. Let's go to reference list, articles in periodicals. What's going to be really different about this is you do not use first names in APA. One of the goals of APA was to get rid of a gender bias in academic research. So we never know the first name of the author because in APA, it's unimportant to know the first name of the author. And so what we found is that people's perception of the credibility of research is impacted by whether they think a female or male wrote it. It's not as influenced by the content, but by the biological sex of the author. So with this bias that happens, the American Psychological Association decided we're going to just get rid of it. And so we only use initials, not the first name. Then you'll see you put the year in parentheses, you put the title of the article, and you'll notice there are no quotation marks around the article. There are no italics in the title of the article. You will also notice that only the first letter is capitalized for the title of the article. You notice the A here is lowercase. Then we have the periodical, and that is in italics, and it is capitalized. Then we have the volume, issue, pages, and where you, where you found it. So if it's in a print journal, because you could also go to the library and look at print journals, you would see last name, first initial, year, the name of the article. Again, you see lowercase and no quotation marks, no italics. Then we have the journal, and that is italics and caps. The, uh, the volume number, and that is, in, that is in italics as well. And then the issue number, which is not in italics, and the pages. If it's in an electronic journal, there'll often be this DOI, which is a document locator number, and you would include that. But again, notice last name, and if there's more than one author, you put an ampersand, which is this little and symbol. You do not write A and D, you just put an ampersand. Again, we have lowercase. The one exception 
to when you might put another uppercase letter is after a colon or if there's a proper name or place like a city you could capitalize those types of things but most of these are going to be lowercase journal name. So what you need to do is learn about this and this is what our quiz is going to be about this week is going to be about APA and just about the references and the citation and I'm going to give you some names uh, in a in a prompt and then give you four ways of what they would look like in a proper APA format and you would pick you would select the correct one in that uh, and that will be things like names initials or whether or not I write out the first name where does the year go I'll give you some titles only one of which is done correctly I'll give you some journals only one of which is done correctly I'll give you some volume numbers only one of which will be done correctly and that way you'll get a little bit used to this so when you actually go to write your article and turn in the assignment uh, the annotated bibliography assignment you will have some experience in how to do this now going back to Moodle I mentioned that we have an APA style cheat sheet so I'm just going to click on that and you'll see this is a little cheat sheet in which it shows you what we what you would do you have the author's last name you have initials for the author's first name, if there's a second author, ampersand. And so this is a little cheat sheet, which just tells you in one sheet what this is going to look like. So really, if you just take a look at this particular cheat sheet, this will get you ready for your quiz on Friday. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye-bye.